Yo! Today I've decided to do something different since we're inclusive here, we're all about different kinds of games, we're not only about Red Dead Redemption or Skyrim or whatever, we're, we're all about... It's, it's a gaming channel, it's a gaming channel, so today I've decided to do an Assassin's Creed game tier list. So there are 7 categories, 14 games, I think we'll be good. So no script, no whatever, I'm just gonna go with whatever I feel like saying. So we'll work our way up from the oldest one to the newest one. So we'll start with Assassin's Creed 1. The first game, the legendary game that started it all. I think as a game it hasn't aged well, I think. Uh, I It's not really that enjoyable nowadays. So I would say it would fit, but you gotta give credit for, for the game like... It started it all. It gave us such beautiful games as Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed 2 and basically all other games. If not for this game, where, when people actually cared about historical accuracy. So I think we cannot place it lower than A tier. It was revolutionary at the time, but it hasn't aged that well, I think. So I think we're gonna go with A tier. Maybe I'll change my mind when I go through other games. Next one is Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2, beautiful game. Haven't finished it though, but I played it and played it quite a lot. And I was really fascinated by the city, by Florence and open world. So I wouldn't say that you can place it lower than A tier as well, but I think we could actually place it in the S tier because I actually think that it was a beautiful game and you can actually play it nowadays and be very much satisfied with it. So I'm gonna place it. I think no one's gonna argue that Assassin's Creed 2 is a beautiful game, revolutionary game. We're gonna place it in the S tier. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So the younger brother, of Assassin's Creed 2. This one I actually finished and played it a lot of times. I enjoyed it, enjoyed it, and I think I would enjoy it nowadays, but it wasn't that revolutionary. So, of course, you couldn't expect anything revolutionary if they decided to make a game every year, but at the time it was very good, very good, no problems with it. So, I think. With a couple of first ones, we're gonna go with good, good, very good. But it didn't make a revolution in the series. I think, I think we can actually place it in the B tier. It's a, it's, it's a strong game. It's a strong game. It's a strong B, I'd say. It's in between those three, of course, arguably. But I would say that it's B because. For the first one, uh, the first one wouldn't be in the A tier if it wasn't the first one. The second one actually offered a lot more than uh, the first one. And Brotherhood wasn't very much different from the second one, so I think it's in the B tier for sure. Revelations. <coughs> Revelations. Hmm. This one's actually a tough one, because it's not a bad game, after all. But again, if Assassin's Creed 1 was a revolutionary game, was the first of, a ki of the kind, the second one made some big moves. Brotherhood didn't make any big moves, but was solid. And Revelations didn't make anything at all, no changes, no anything. So I would say that we can place it revelations down here good storyline good storyline Ezio and um, like how they intertwined the Altair Ezio and uh, Desmond's stories that was very nice uh, but gameplay wise it wasn't very that good and it, it also excuse me for my hair and my this because I've been seven uh, it's been seven months since
I've been in the same room for seven months and I couldn't get a haircut for the past three months, so yes, I could shave, but I won't. You can't tell me what to do, okay? I'm gonna do what I want. Okay. Uh, next one, Assassin's Creed 3. So this one, you can actually, maybe you've seen my video about Assassin's Creed, like uh, the future of Assassin's Creed, why I think it's gonna be in Asia. You can watch it right here, right here, like in some corner. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, so Assassin's Creed 3 was a whole different era of Assassin's Creed. Like we've entered a beautiful era. I like that period of time, like revolutionary uh, mood all over the world. Um, America, also beautiful soundtrack. I, I listen to it nowadays as well. And I've recently played Assassin's Creed 3 too, because I very much liked this game and had everything that you could ask from a game, you could demand at the time. And the soundtrack that goes like beautiful, beautiful. I, I'm gonna listen to it after I record this video. Gameplay wise, completely different games. You can climb trees, you can swim. Well, you could actually swim in, in the previous ones, but gameplay wise, completely different game, completely different feeling, except for parkour. It wasn't much different from Assassin's Creed 2 and others. A couple of new moves. Uh, what else? A story a lot of people didn't like. I, I see that a lot of people hate on Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, while it's one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games for sure, if not the favorite. Uh, as a lot of people hate on it because of its basic storyline because it's about revenge well i liked it quite much because it's about an indian and in indigenous tribe a guy from america that didn't know anything he had his own rules for life and he was basically like captain america and i like captain america um he only wanted good for everyone and uh, people didn't like him for that because he was like only one-sided. Uh, yes, my nails, because I play the guitar. You can judge me, you can't judge me. So yes, I think it's a very good game. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make excuses for it. Nowadays, of course, when we have certain games uh, in Assassin's Creed series, it's considered a very, a very good Assassin's Creed game. Uh, so I would actually place it Hmm, it's very, well, I would like to place it in the S tier, but I don't think I can actually do it. It wouldn't be right because it got its hate. I'm not influenced by other people. I love this game. I absolutely love this game, but if I'm not biased, then I would actually place it in the A tier. It's a very good game that could have had some improvements because I think a lot of content got like cut from the game. So yeah, Connor loved it. Uh, loved the guy, the indigenous tribe guy. Very interesting character. I adore him. One of my uh, one of my favorite characters of all time in Assassin's Creed series, of course. So A tier. A tier, for sure, for sure. Assassin's Creed Liberations. Well, I don't think anything should be said here because at the time they were making a lot of Assassin's Creed games and some DLCs or for PlayStation Vita that was actually meant to be for PlayStation Vita and came out on PC and maybe consoles, I'm not sure. Um, so they were actually trying to make as many games as possible and uh, it's like a little little brother of assassin's creed 3 very little it's not even revelations tier 
I think I think it's lower. We would manage. I'd say we would manage if it didn't exist. It's not terrible. It can exist. It has its place in the world. So I would place it in the E tier. Sorry if someone likes this game a lot, but it's really not that great, I think. Black Flag. Hmm. Black Flag. A revolutionary game again of the same out of the same era, of course, as Assassin's Creed 3 and Liberations, but very different, actually. With the sea battles, a lot, uh, I see some people hate on it for some reason, I don't know, and not even consider it an Assassin's Creed game because it's about pirate. I think those people haven't actually finished it because finally we, did, we got something that's not revenge. Wow. Uh, it was a very good game at the time, and uh, it wasn't about revenge, it was fun. It was about a pirate who changed his views, got a bigger picture, so I think the character is very good. The story is very good as well, and the game is a very good as well. And I think it's actually S tier worthy, because it's really replayable, and uh, nowadays, how uh, how long it's has it been like uh, seven years eight years since uh since the, uh, it's been it's been eight year it's been eight years since the release of the game and uh, it still is very nice for this time and replayable and i think there are no actual alternatives for the uh, for a game of of this kind nowadays even nowadays uh like a, this pirate theme game so i think we're gonna actually place it in the s tier i would actually argue and maybe switch assassin's creed 3 and 4 but i think it's quite good freedom cry doesn't need any explanation same as here rogue well, Rogue is quite a controversial topic because I played it twice and I enjoyed it very much, very much enjoyed it. Um, it's very similar to Assassin's Creed 4. It's not like a complete copy of Assassin's Creed 4 and it also doesn't feel like a little brother, uh, like... A slightly smaller brother uh, like this is uh, this is assassin's creed 4 and this is rogue i'd say so i think it's in the b tier for sure because i actually enjoyed it very much and uh the setting is better it adds up to the story for the general store to the general story of assassin's creed 3 4 a rogue and actually unity at like it like runs like a river into the story of uh, Assassin's Creed Unity and I think it deserved its B tier. Assassin's Creed Unity. Unity. Oh boy. How many people hated on it when it came out? Poor game, I'd say. Because I don't think it's actually that bad. Well, I, I know why it got all this hate because it wasn't playable at, uh, when it's at the release. And uh, the storyline isn't very interesting, I'd say, but it's it has some plot twists that are quite good for the game. And I actually like this uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, type of thing between Arno and uh, Alice, Elise, Elise. Uh, I actually very much enjoyed it. Once again, it's a revolutionary game, so it's a completely new era. And today, people even consider it the best Assassin's Creed game of all time because it has par parkour, stealth, good fighting system, good graphics and it's actually historically accurate, arguably of course. So it's ST for sure. I would actually place it maybe higher because nowadays it, you can play it and just not even think about that it's been made how many seven years ago okay with unity it, it's quite clear it's a magnificent game excellent game uh you can actually play it nowadays but and it seemed like syndicate would be even better 
like they would work on their mistakes. And actually, it took me about 5 tries to actually finish it because I got really fucking bored when I got to the middle, not even the middle, like 30-40% of the game, it, I got actually very very much bored. And uh, I don't think it's really really that great, it had a lot of potential, potential to be one of the greatest games ever. Like to be worshipped, it had all this potential but got wasted, <laughs> got wasted completely really boring game and by the time you finish it by like 40% you will beg for it to end and I actually finished it only this autumn because I was like okay I'm gonna force myself and finish it like in a few days like I played it till the middle and then I was like Shit, I don't want to play it anymore and uh, I actually forced myself to finish it and the ending wasn't very good as well. So silly jokes and well you can have some fun there. Like it's not a completely garbage game. It's quite good. It can exist again. I think it's uh, the revelations type game. Do you agree? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I think it's C tier. Well, actually, there's D tier. Nah, it's not. It, it can't. It can't be in the D tier. Yeah, I think it's C. It's worse than Brotherhood. I wouldn't place it with Brotherhood at all. It has. It has some things that you can do in the game, but again, it got rid of some good things that were in Unity and. Uh, got some new things that weren't actually that good that great so i think we we'll all agree uh, we'll we'll all agree here let's go to the next era which begins with origins origins what can i say about origins i liked it i liked it not very much not as an assassin's creed game as an rpg uh, it was quite good got a nice feeling of the ancient Egypt uh, nice feeling of that era some grinding not very pleasant grind grinding still an Assassin's Creed game so I would say well it there is nothing much to say the, the main character is just uh, his name is just main character uh, like you can play the main character I'm gonna be tired by uh, editing this like how do we do this main character look a puppy uh, so I don't think it's very good not S tier not A tier we, we gotta compare it to these ones so it's not brotherhood at all and I would say it can exist it's quite good it's a nice game you can play it will you finish it not very likely will you enjoy it for some time yes so it's like this completely mediocre game, C tier, a hundred percent. There are a lot of games in S tier actually, more than in A, B, and E tiers. It says a lot about society. What can I say? Valhalla. Well, this game I haven't actually played yet because uh, I don't want to pay Ubisoft. I don't want to give them money nowadays. Not at all. Doesn't look very much appealing to me, but. Uh, so that's why I can't place it in the S T or F T, or maybe even we can scratch the F E A and S, so we can actually place it in the middle. Because even though I don't play it, I'm quite invested in what's happening with the Assassin's Creed community and uh, games overall. So, and I've heard from people that are hardcore fans and know everything about Assassin's Creed lore that it actually is turning towards this Assassin's Creed, authentic Assassin's Creed lore and it has some, some features but has some obnoxious microtransactions. And that's what actually makes me think that it's not that great but I think it's better than Origins. Yes, I have played Origins and haven't played Valhalla but I think it has some 
new features, some new views on assassins, like, it, it, it can exist. Again, it can exist, because uh, we usually got this stealthy assassin, we got a pirate, and there he is. We got a pirate that is on a ship robbing people and killing people for because they're rich or not and he's in the st so here we have a viking yeah it's not very orthodox for an assassin but a pirate it isn't a very orthodox unorthodox yes is there a word can you say like that i don't give a <laughs> uh, so yeah i think that's it valhalla if i actually play valhalla i would I think I could place it higher actually, but I can't because I haven't played it. And I know it's like a grinding game for hundreds of hours. You're gonna just waste your life there. And uh, it's not something that I'm looking forward to. I think like optimal game should be around 30 hours, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm saying some stupid shit because I played Red Dead Redemption for more than 200 hours before I actually joined online and enjoyed it very much. So yeah, I think... What do you think about this? Oh. Oh. We forgot something. Odyssey. Well, this game is what Assassin's Creed is supposed to be, I think. I have completely forgot, and I think it's actually higher than all of these games, because you can't compare it to Assassin's Creed 2. It's better than Assassin's Creed 2. You, can just, you can't just argue it has more to offer. It has more to offer than Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It has ships, it has fights, it has everything. It has dialogue, it has monsters. And then Unity, of course, for, uh, for those exact reasons. You're not in one single city, that's pathetic. So I think you need to have a completely separate category for it. So for Odyssey, we're just gonna... Yep, yep. So yeah, I think we can agree here. You can leave your thoughts in the comments. This is my tier. Assassin's Creed 2, 3, Black Flag, Unity, some of the best games of all, not maybe time, but in the series, which is very great. Like, there are a lot of games, and if I was to single out one game that I would replay five times in a row, I think I would say Unity, because uh, you don't feel this big burden of everything around you that you need to explore no it, it actually is very much enjoyable and you feel like you're in a city like you're in, you're basically a human that has some cool abilities cringe uh so yes thank you for watching leave your thoughts down in the comments and uh, i'll see you in the next video hope you don't mind this kind of video maybe i will do another tier list on some other games Okay, you can you can actually suggest some tier lists down in the comments because I need some video ideas. No, I actually have a lot. I do. Um, have a nice day.